In this video, I am making Thanksgiving dinner for two from start to finish. So let's get it started. I invite you to this all day cook with me Thanksgiving marathon. I'm gonna start at the beginning by making my cornbread and I'm gonna work my way through all the dishes that I normally make for Thanksgiving dinner. There won't be a lot of talking, but there will be a lot of cooking. If you're new to my channel, I'm Denise Jordan, and I teach traditional homemaking for today's homemaker. So if you want to learn more about making and keeping at home, subscribe. I can teach you to be a traditional homemaker in an untraditional world.
So here's my Thanksgiving dinner for two. I was looking at this counter and I was thinking there's not very much up here, but I'm used to having 15 to 20 people here for the Thanksgiving holiday and today it's just going to be me and the hubby. So I've got all the food out and I'll let you see what we've got, but right here I've got my cornbread stuffing and it is delicious. I made two pans of it. The other pan is over there and I did take a little bit of a scoop out of it. And I will admit the hubby took a scoop out of it too. He was hungry earlier and couldn't wait. Over here I've got cranberry sauce and it's just ocean spray, whole berry, cranberry sauce today. I just didn't feel like making my own just for the two of us. Right here I've got some collard greens that I cooked long and slow and they are delicious. And then, of course, the star of the show is right here in the middle, and it is a very small turkey breast. It's just half a turkey breast and one turkey drumstick. So there's a little bit of white meat and a little bit of dark meat, and I embellished the tray with some of the carrots and the orange slices that was in the roasting pan. And oh my goodness, do they taste delicious. Over here is just, just a small bowl of candy sweet potatoes. And then here is my mac and cheese. Now, this is a different one than I normally make. Since it's just the hubby and I, I made a mac and cheese that is very similar to the one that Chef John makes on Food Wishes with his lobster mac. I made the lobster mac for Valentine's Day one year for the hubby, and we loved it. And I thought this mac and cheese would be even better without the lobster, because I'm not a big seafood person. So I made that a version of that mac and cheese for today. And I probably wouldn't make it for a very, very large crowd because the cheese is a little expensive, but it'll be great for us. And then of course, some Jiffy corn muffins. And then here's my semi homemade gravy. I used some of the solution that I used to baste the turkey with, and I boiled it so you don't have to worry about any botulism or anything like that, as well as some of the drippings from the roasting pan and then some Heinz roasted turkey gravy. And the combination of the three is absolutely delicious. I think this might be some of the best gravy I've made just because I had more of the pan drippings and more of the basting solution than I usually have left over. So here is our Thanksgiving dinner for two. I only used two kind of medium sized sweet potatoes, but they still make quite a bit. And for the mac and cheese, it, this is supposed to make a serving of eight. And so what I'm going to do is cut this dish in half and I'll put half in the freezer for another day and then we'll have leftovers for a couple of days. And the same thing for the dressing. I'm gonna put one pan of the dressing in the freezer and then we'll have the dressing that we've already nibbled in today and for the next couple of days. And if you're wondering what to do with those turkey leftovers, be sure to stop back and check out my turkey taco soup, how to make turkey bone broth, and my Thanksgiving sandwich. Oh my goodness, because the Thanksgiving sandwich, you know, after Thanksgiving, you make this huge, well, I don't wanna tell you too much about it, just come on back and check it out. Mm -hmm.